Our next sorting algorithm which we will focus on is BST sort algorithm called as heap sort. BST means binary search tree and this sorting algorithm is basically a part of your binary search tree which we will have discussion in our next modules, upcoming modules. But now I'm taking it in the sorting part because there are certain companies which completely work with respect to structural data. Say for example, they want the data analysis with the big data or something and in that scenario, they maintain a kind of a binary search tree implementation. When a picture arises for binary search tree, automatically a picture arises for heap sort. So let's understand what is this heap sort all about. First of all, I would like to tell you heap sort is a comparison based sorting technique based on a binary heap data structure. I would like to repeat it is based on a binary heap data structure. It is similar to selection sort where we first place the maximum element and then place the maximum element at the end. So first also and last also, but we repeat the same process with the ma maximum elements present in the particular array. Let's focus on our heap sort. First step is that elements are represented in the form of a heap. So what is this heap? Heap is a complete binary tree where items are stored in a special order such that a value in parent, parent node is greater than the values in two children nodes. The former is called as a max heap and the later is called as a min heap. We will have a better description of max heap and min heap in our next chapter where we will get a pictorial representation from the example. Like this would be our example and through this we will focus how the sorting actually works. The max heap and min heap are basically used for the sorting. The heap can be represented in the form of a binary tree or it can be represented in the form of an array. The second step is elements are organized in the form of max heap. Like I mentioned, like binary heap is a complete binary tree where items are stored in the special order such that the value in the parent node is greater than the values in the children node. When it's such a scenario when the parent node is greater than the children and it forms a max heap. So here you want to check that whatever the parent node we have, it is always greater than the child node. In this scenario, we can see 16 is the one which is greater than 10. So to form the max heap, 16 is shifted to 10. The position gets swapped. So that step number two is successfully established. After that is the sorting. Once we have started with the max heap structure and the binary search tree, we automatically start with the sorting technique. So in the sorting technique also, it forms in such a way like you have to build a max heap from the input data and the largest item is stored in the root of the heap and we have to repeat this procedure and that is done with the procedure called as heapify procedure and which can be applied to a node only if the children nodes are heapified. So in the next chapter we'll have the in-depth analysis of heap sort with the pictorial representation and later we'll have the implementation of this heap sort how we can develop it in JavaScript functionality. And when a technical question is asked, like, do explain us about the heap sort by the number of elements given to them. As I mentioned, these elements can be formed as a tree or it can be formed as an array. So we'll keep a bit better picture. We can focus it on an array because array is the normal data structure which has been usually used by all the developers and it is quite easy to understand. So we'll focus on that part where all the elements are taken as an array and automatically it is sorted by forming the max heap and then it is heapified. So let's move on to our next chapter where we will understand even more with the example for heap sort algorithm. Hello everyone, we are going to start with the heap sort and heap sort is a basic example which is definitely asked in the interview rounds. Consider for the elements which is mentioned over here 10, 17, 16, 7, 15 and then 19. So we are going to start with the rightmost element that is the last element of all the elements in the heap and replace the max element with the first node element with the last or rightmost element of heap. So starting with the step number one, we are going to replace the element which is the topmost element in the heap which is mentioned over here. As you can see the root element which is present is the element 10. But element 10 needs to be replaced with some element, say for example 19. We can say both of them like 10 is the smallest element and 19 is the largest element. But it is replaced in such a way 
like 17 is placed because 17 is the element which is largest so 10 is placed in the bottom most position now as we can see in this figure the parent element 10 is smaller than the children element so it has been replaced now considering for the next part the element parent element 10 and after that comes the element which is 17 element 15 is replaced in such a way like you have to replace because the element 10 is smaller than its children element 15 so we are replacing this position as mentioned over here so now the maximum value element 17 with the last element is visible in the figure so the last element is not 19 as we have seen in the step number one we are going to focus only with respect to element 10 so interchange the value of 17 with 10 again because we are following the heap structure whenever we do the step now following to the next part the parent node 10 is less than 16 so 16 has been interchanged now if you see for the figure we can see the max element except 16 is at the first node so it's time to place 16 to its original decision or the original location which was there and 7 is placed in the topmost element that is the root element now now you can see the parent node 7 is smaller than the child node 15 as is as it is visible on the screen so it is important to note this point that the swapping of the positions should be in such a way like it should form a binary tree structure so we can see the max element 15 is that it should be placed at the first node and 7 should be placed in the 15th position which was there that is like swapping the elements now you can see the element 10 is the element which should form the maximum heap so now heap contains two element that is not organized in the original location so 10 is placed in the topmost position so now the leftmost element is lesser than the root node and the rightmost element that is 15 is greater than the element which is present over here so now you can see the heap has been formed perfectly with the elements designed in such a way but 7 should be placed in that position because 7 is the root element now we have the ascending order of the elements designed 7 10 after 15 the last level elements which is like mentioned is 16 then 17 and the last element is the most largest element of the heap sort is 19 so this is how heap sort has been calculated let's get started for understanding the heap sort algorithm in detail so in this chapter like the way we did for shell sort the similar thing will follow over here so as the first step i would like to create a file first of all i close the initial files and then we'll create a new file for heap sort so i'll create a new file i'll save it inside the sorting algorithm that is our code base and inside this i'll name the file as heap sort dot js now coming to the point of interview it may happen that each line by line code needs to be displayed in the proper way so now we are doing heaps which is like sorting with respect to an array in max heap maximum elements will always be at the root heap sort uses this property of heap to sort the array so we will consider that with the algorithm structure and later we'll create a heap sort so as a first step here i'll create a variable say array length as this variable is a global variable hence i'm creating it before the function declaration now i'll say function and then build heap and inside this i'll mention the input parameter an input parameter will have array length array length equals input input dot length okay once this is done we'll start with a for loop for variable i equals math dot floor which will have the array length which we have declared it over here the array length divided by 2 and this is math do always check for the spellings and after that i'll declare the condition so my condition is i greater than or equal to 0 i plus plus and after this i'll include a hippify so we are going to declare this function for now i'll say it as hippify which will take two parameters or two attributes that is input and i 
Now we have declared this function. It is important to declare the logic for this function hippify. So here I'll say function hippify, which will include a value input and i. Two attributes are needed over here. Here where left we have the left node, right node and the parent node and on the basis of that we will calculate over here. My left node will be nothing but twice of i, twice of i plus 1. And my right node where right will be twice of i plus 2. Okay. Now we'll declare the largest element that is variable largest equals i. Now focusing on the heapify algorithm part, I'm just building up a max heap of elements in an array. So my max heap is done with this heapify function. This part you can explain it to the interviewers like this is the heapify part which should be included in my function module. Now what is important to be done? The root element that is nothing but my array element which will have the first element will contain the maximum element of an array. After the element of an array is like shifted or it is swapped with the largest element and heapify till the mix, mix heap value or I would say after checking up the value thing after that swapping of the element with the largest element or the last element of an array and heapify to the max heap will conclude the procedure. So we are following that pattern over here where I am like putting a product for the index element of i and accordingly I am showing up the value. So that is what is the main structure I am focusing on. After this what is the next part is like I will say if left of array is less than array length and and input left well in that scenario if I see it is greater than the largest element that is input largest like we saw in our last chapter how each and every left and right node is calculated so similar we will do over here now if I see the left element is largest then I'll assign the largest element as left so I'll use the same structure over here in case of the scenario when I get right element as the largest so here instead of left I'll mention right and this will have a value that is input of right is greater than input of largest then I'll set largest as the right node or the rightmost element. Now the next condition I will say if largest is not equal to i in that scenario swap input i comma largest so i'll call for the swap functionality later and now i even i'll say hippify and here it will take two parameters input and largest like if i see the largest element is not matching to the index element then it will swap accordingly now the important thing is like we declared for build heap and heapify function the next function is swap heap so for that we'll declare a function named swap heap or swap so here my functionality for swap is swapping up the number as per the sorting order it takes three parameters so i'll say it as input index of a index underscore a and the similar way index underscore b so inside this, what is the important part to be needed? I'll just take it in the upper hand. So this would be my swapping element. Here I'll say where temp equals input of input of index of a index of a and then later it will take the input of index of a to in index of b so this is the normal swapping technique which takes place and this logic is usually followed in any of the programming language now i'll say it as input of index of index underscore b and this has been done successfully after that we take input of index of b as 
10 equals 10. So this has been done. So my swapping was successfully achieved. Now after that, I need to call for the heap sort functionality, which will call a build heap function because we are sorting as per the order. So now I will say function, function heap sort, and this will take a values of input and the values inside it will be build heap. It will call for build heap function and it will take the input as an array. It has only one parameter associated to it. Now, after that, I'll take a for loop, which will represent the sorted element in the proper order, where i equals input dot length. It will check for the length of the array, input length minus 1, i greater than 0, i plus plus. Okay. After this, it will say swap input 0 and i it will take three parameters over here swapping element will start with the input with its lower value as 0 and i will be my index now every time while calculating the swapping i will decrement the value as we discussed in the last chapter like how each time we check for the heap maximum heap and sort it accordingly now i'll say heapify input comma 0 after this, the functions have been declared successfully. We will start with our major example where the example is declared over here as where example. So this function terminates here. We need to check for our indentations properly. Each and every function should be ended properly. We have the heapify function which is ended properly and then we have the build heap function which is also ended properly. So now we'll start with our example where example equals the elements will be 40, 10, I'm sending a random value say 50 and then we have 24, then 1, then 2, then 4 smaller numbers and then we have a negative number like minus 10 and then 15 and then comes 7 and then 8 and then 5. Now what to do? We will just print these values. I'll say console.log example. After that, I'll check for heap sort. So I'll next print a value as console.log heap sort example. So my array is nothing but an example. Now the next step is like to create a new file which will be nothing but our heap sort dot html. So here I'll say it as heap sort dot html. Here I'll declare the doc type as html. And inside this I'll mention html tag. The html tag will automatically have the two tags major head and head tag will have meta Meta tag is to specify the character set as is UTF-8 and then later it will have the title. The title is nothing but a heap sort algorithm so I'll say heap sort algorithm and after this we'll specify the body. The body will have a value as H3 heap sort example and then we'll have the script tag which will say script src equals heap sort dot chase so once this part has been successfully done we'll just make it live so we'll just make it live like we are initializing the live preview with the bracket section this takes a while it is because of some connection errors. Okay, not a problem. We can even try it again. Now, if you check, it has been properly launched with the help of live preview. Now, we'll go to our console to see if the value is properly coming or not. The first array is nothing but the array which we declared over here, which is the random values 40, 10, 50 and so on. But the next value is sorted properly with minus 10 coming first because that is the smallest element. Then we have 1, 2, 4. 5, 7, 8, 10, 15, 24, 40, and then 50. So it's like a proper way the heap sort algorithm is taking place. 
When interviewer ask you, this would be a simple function where we will take three values, that is three functions, basically build heap, heapify, swapping functions, and then showing it with the help of sorting algorithm. So this was the complete example of the heap sort and we mark our end with the sorting algorithm structure. The next module is understanding about the searching algorithms which is also a part of a technical question like what all searching algorithms are there and which is the fastest and the easiest one.